Yo, yo, what's up everybody? This is Johnny from Duke and Cut TV. It's now 4.53 in the morning. I'm waiting on my lift. About to head to the airport to go to the CT Barber Expo, man. So this is gonna be very exciting. It's my first time going out there. So um, if you see me, if you're a subscriber, please don't hesitate to come up and say what's up. So this is gonna be like vlog style. So um, yeah, we're gonna just continue to record throughout the day today. Barber Grammys is later on tonight. Looking forward to it. So welcome to another video. <laughs> Dude, can you cut? You say you can cut, that's what the that's what your IG say, bro. the whip about to start this joker up and we are ready to head out to mohegan sun it has been a journey i've been up since like 3 30 4 o'clock um so yeah i'm gonna see what's around here maybe i'll stop and grab something to eat or something or whatever but yeah man this is it's crazy to get to get here it's, <laughs> this event better be worth it worth it i'm sure it is <laughs> Lobby area. All right, just made it into the room. Really nice room, cozy room, All right? And I even got a little view. Like a, at first, I was disappointed when I saw the when I saw that, but then I look over, got a nice little view. It's raining today, but nice, right? So I'm gonna try to unpack a bit and actually take a nap because i've been up since like four this morning five this morning three this morning actually um because i got to the airport at five and um i'll see you guys at the barber grammys i just woke up from a little nap um barber grammy started in a couple hours i'm a little hungry so i'm gonna head downstairs um to grab something to eat so beforehand so and you know i had to stop i would i would have really liked to come down here with a bunch of cats that I knew, a bunch of barbers that I knew. I know, and I know some guys that are gonna be here. But you know, sometimes you have to roll solo um, because you have to put, you know, you are an entrepreneur and you have to put your career, um, your career and the, the success of your career is on you. So you never know who you're gonna meet. And I'm here to network, I'm here to build relationships and I'm here to check out new products and just enjoy the weekend. So that's why I ended up doing this myself because that's the reason why I didn't go the last couple of years because I've. You know, some of my barbers didn't want to go. Everybody didn't do it at the last minute. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go this year, man. So if that's you, man, hope to see you here this year or maybe next year. You know, I always thought I was going to make it to the Grammys. But God had a different Grammys. I'm at the Barber Grammys. So excited to go to this event. It's going to be dope, man. Definitely share some footage with y'all. Getting ready for the Barber Grammys in the VIP line. VIP, you missing out. <laughs> this line gonna be crazy when everybody get down here. It's gonna be a dope event. So, you know, love, I believe, 
It's, it's all about waking up and I thank God every day for what he's doing for my life. And that, that kid in the video, video was my son. I've been raising him by myself since he was, he's been born. And that's my son. Just leaving out the Grammys, taking a little quick drink break. They got the door open, so, so I have to throw my scully back on, but it's a really dope event so far, man. Um, some, I mean, everybody who's everybody is here. So hopefully I get a quick interview with some of the, the A-listers, some of the guys I look up to, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I you don't believe in yourself, you pretty much achieve anything. today at the, at the Barber Grammys. Went to dinner, met some cool new barbers that I'm cool with. Barbers from all over the world. And I'm um, from uh, Seattle to Sweden to New York. It's just dope, man, to build with uh, different people, man. So this is day one. Tomorrow, got to get up early and get to these classes, man. So see y'all tomorrow. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is day two of the CT Barber Expo. Today is going to be all about the education classes, so I'm excited to, uh, first I'm excited to get some coffee, then I'll be excited about the rest of the day, because I went to bed at like 2 a.m., and uh, yeah, so it's going to be dope, it's going to be a lot of education classes, so stay tuned, see y'all soon. See, I'm not even focused, because I need coffee. All right, bye. I've been at this show for 12 years straight, and my career has grown by relationships that I build a person. Not just on that internet, so stop behind my on Instagram, shake a hand, give out a business card, and never know, your passion turns to a picture. So next up, we got the educator in the Anders Global Clipper Company. If you guys don't know him yet, please give a round of applause to our man, Kenny Duncan. I want to use it as a deep, uh, the Super ZR with a 3-0 blade set to do the carving, and I right now I'm just doing the rough shape right now, and I'm so creating the foundation. Now I'm gonna go into the crown, and I'm gonna finish up the fade on the side with my just a little tool to put a little bit of a foam. But the essay is already done. Like the haircut has lines in it, but it's not what I'm focusing on right now. The shape itself is what I focus on first, and then once I get the shape, then I can focus on perfecting the haircut the way I want to perfect it. So just came back to the room from the education classes. Shout out to. Kenny Duncan, the original Barber Doll, they made a, had an amazing class. I really learned a lot, as well as Andy Authentic as well was up there. So um, just give you guys a quick, they gave us a, a swag bag when you booked the VIP. So we got some, some King's brand, what is this, like some gel or pomade? Let me see what else is in here. I wanted to show you guys what comes with it. There's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of pomades and 
I don't really use a lot of pomade, so some of this is pomade city. It's another pomade. Come on, give me some. If it's another pomade, yo, who's my, what is this? Patchy. Okay, all right. Then we got, it comes with a clipper, fabulous um, low pro FX, which I already have a pair of these. Definitely one of my favorites from uh, Babyliss. Very powerful tool. Yes, sir, but I will be picking up the uh, Van de Goat red joints just because it's my man and um, he got his own clippers, so I'm gonna support him. Yep, yep, so it comes with that. As well as, what else is this? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is this? Okay, Supreme. Oh, wow. Came with a trimmer from Supreme. Interesting. Wait, Supreme Trimmer, Ocean Scent. Oh, Aftershave Wipes. Okay, these are wipes. These are not, it's not the trimmer I thought it was, but okay, that's cool. Uh, probably some shave gel, right? Um, extra cream cologne, not an aftershave. A lot of stuff in this bag, y'all. Uh, some gel, always good to have that. And uh, just a bunch of flyers, stuff like that. This is really cool for mobile barbering. Like literally, this chair here, this chair is next level. For more, if you're a mobile barber, you should definitely uh, look into getting one of these joints. So I think it folds up pretty well. I've seen Rum Barber do a full like um, unboxing. Oh snap! We got some. We got some soap from uh, Stamp McQueen uh, Grooming. All right, cool, cool, cool. What's this? Another pomade, probably another pomade, right? Another. Okay, some clay. Got that. Some shaving cream. Got that. A freaking lighter? Really? Squire? Ain't nobody smoking no squares, man. A lighter? Come on, get that out of here. I ain't need that one. Uh, aftershave balm. Okay. I'm gonna use that today. I'm gonna shave myself. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all killing me with the, with the freaking pomade stuff. All right. Pomade City. All right, some more stuff in here too. Beard oil, hair and beard oil, okay. It's always a plus. And I believe, okay, a little color brush, right? Shout out to the barber plug, a little color brush. Aftershave cologne, we're gonna test that out. And some um, hair and body wash. I believe that is it. That came in the CT Barber Expo swag bag that comes with the vip ticket so yeah just wanted to come up here take a quick break trying to grab, grab something to eat and um yeah get back downstairs but this is what all came with it so let's continue Name my bro, boy Mike, Yo, Seattle. Made it through that. To the right, general admission on the wall. VIP to the right, or to this way. To the general left. On the All right, so we just made it through VIP this line. Right. VIP style. Yes, sir. We are here. Right. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys are waiting for the pause. Y'all go to the back of the line. Yes, sir. Plus my channel. All right, so I'm standing here with one of the goats. Yo, 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 yo. I got a confession. What's going so on? We used to put your videos on in the barbershop yeah. just to try to point out something wrong. His haircuts be too perfect. And I was not a believer in the, in the um, enhancements. In the, no, no, not enhancements, but the magic pencil. Oh, Until I started man. doing it. And you see how you started doing it, you started giving your haircuts more pop, more flap. Things of that nature, you know. Yeah. He, he said he said he didn't believe in the myth out of Benson until he started using it. 
Yes. Yeah. I started using that joint. I was like, yeah. Yeah, he was right. Yeah, might got to bite your tongue on that one. He, he, he was right. He was right. Yeah, with all due respect. Yes, there was sir. a lot of things I didn't like at all either yeah. until I made them myself. And then I started understanding you know, the services that we got to give back to people in the industry and in the culture and the innovative products we got to give to everybody in the culture. Yes, so. sir. Salute to you, brother. Yes, sir. Let me show the haircut. Talk to this boy. I'm going to like the haircut. The haircut. This is the other one. This is... Typically, the two uh, we're doing a limited edition here with the colors at the CPS. This is all I use. So the the, the price is com pretty compatible. Incredible. back in the room about to get ready for dinner i just wanted to show you guys i finally got my hands on the black saber trimmer y'all know i did a video a couple months ago and told you guys that this was the best trimmer i've ever used and i still am not lying i did try the coco trimmers and they hit really well i'm going back and forth if i should get them just to do a review but i'm not sure but I'm so happy I came and I got these joints. So just wanted to show you guys that I'm going to get dressed and get ready for dinner. Then off to the after party by Def Jam and Babyless. So it's going to be fire. <laughs>
day two of the CT Barber Expo. I got a chance to um, meet some of my favorite barbers personally and chop it up with a couple of them. And um, it was a great day. Got a chance to get the Black Sabres. Yes, full review coming soon. Cannot wait to get back to work to use them. Um, yeah, I'm finna call it a night. It is 1 a.m. Education classes tomorrow morning. Then off to back to Tampa and back to my family, back to paradise. And uh, this has been a really cool experience. I'm definitely coming back next year. Let me get some sleep. Tomorrow will be the final day and then I am off. Um, so if you are ever considering coming to the show, it's a no brainer. Like you, you need to invest the money and come to the show. Stay on the property. Don't stay in the hotel that's 20 minutes away. Stay at the resort. So you have a whole year to save up to come to this show. It's a great show. They did a lot of great things. Just left the 90s party, the after party um, of, t of today. It was, it was, it was cool. So, um, yeah. I hope this video inspires you to get out and get to some shows. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know whose hand you're going to shake. You never know which opportunity is right there in front of you. So um, I've been taking full advantage of it as best as I can. And um, I hope it inspires you to do the same. All right. Till tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. This is the last day. This is day three. CT Barber Expo. I'm just getting up. Just getting dressed. And uh, about to head down to first grab some coffee. You, you already know. And uh, go to the... Uh, last bit of education classes today, so see you down there. After party is still meeting here. Oh, you guys are beasts. Um, I, I Hanzo never gives out free shears. I don't even think I don't even think their educators get free shears. No. So I've been asking them. Ten years later, I finally got a freaking pair of free shears. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that they're the barber uh, ones. But I can tell you that. Being here in the state of Connecticut, uh, Hanzo is really vigilant about making it to their shops, uh, servicing their shears. While your shears are getting sharpened, they usually leave you a beer so you can. All right, uh, today is Mr. Eddie. He's a prior growth barber and soap. Hang out and you get the break in between the phones and go that way. That seems to work. Instagram's a little different. Instagram's an older culture, it's an older audience than TikTok. So what is it's doing is so there's a lot going on right now. I just signed up with Harvey Bar social media class. I'm looking forward to that. And I also just signed up with Squire. I'm looking forward to that relationship. It's gonna be great. A lot of cool stuff happened in day three. This is the last day here, so I'm trying to make the best use of my time while I'm here. All right, we back. All right, me and my brother Barbara June. Hey, what's cracking, man? We uh, we old, we tired. My Look, legs hurt. Man, we're ready to go home. Now. Hey, but it was a success though, man. CT Barber Expo is where it's at. Facts. If you ain't here, man, you need to come here, man. It's where it's at, man, to elevate the game. This is true. This That's is real true. Talk. Definitely spent some money, got some classes, got some education yeah. there. Met and, people, and network. With us both being, how long you been cutting? I've been 10 years. So 10 years, both of us 10 years in. I'm, I'm 15 years in. So we can still learn stuff. Oh, absolutely. We never stop learning. This is an evolving industry. And next year, I, I better see some of y'all. I did see one subscriber from YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. That was super cool. So yep, you yep. know who you are. So hey. Robert June. Oakland, right? Oh, yep. The Bay Area. The Bay sure. Area. They don't say the city. They just say the Bay Area. The Bay. You know what it is, man. You know man. what I mean? Shout out to Golden State. Hey. Maybe next year. No, this guy. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk. My leg yeah. is about to get sweat. Oh, yeah, for sure. <sighs> anyway. So it is a wrap at the CT Barber Expo. I'm about to get back in the car, drive to the airport, get home to my family, looking forward to seeing them. But this has been a great experience. I'll definitely probably be back next year, God willing. And um, hope you guys enjoyed. If this is your first time to the channel, I wanna say thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, man, to the channel. I will see y'all in the next one. I got some reviews I'm finna do. I got the Coco Trimmers and the Coco Clippers as well as the Black Sabres. Yes. So see y'all in the next video. Peace. Forget to share, like, and
like, subscribe. Until then, just cheer to the next episode. Dudekingcut.com. <laughs>